Okay, so we're back with the washing pot. Um, we're going to use the Reichland flush again. Again, I've mixed it with the, um, the quick shade medium that we've been using all through this model. If you can see that. And this is the Reichland flush, which is a Citadel Games Workshop product. And we're going to apply this over our loincloth. Including the bits we didn't highlight. We're basically trying to keep in the same family colours. Oh, that will do for now, because it will stay wet. Uh, we're going to come from underneath, so we get some under the ridges. And then we're going to come from the top. We want it to go in the holes. We want to keep it under this ridge that we've got here. You can see this ridge where it forms its natural shape. We definitely want it to go in there. Just want to make sure there's no pour in, that's okay. Again, we want to bring it up, but we don't want it to pour underneath too badly. We want it to go in there enough to define it, but we don't want it to go in there enough that it's causing a pull in. And we'll also do these as well. Which will turn these all down. Now that we painted these earlier. The grooves that's coming out of his flesh and through the home as well in places. This is what will blend these all together. And as I say, you can always come back in, put some fine points in with a dark brown, make it pop a bit with your buff or light colour, whatever colour you used, or even a different colour on the tip. This will turn all these down. It would also darken them a little bit, so the beige won't be, oh, I keep saying beige, the buff won't be as bright. Of course we thin this down with the the medium. If you just use the wash straight it would be a lot darker than this. The medium does two things. It, it stays wet a little bit longer, not a lot longer. And it goes on quite smooth. I bet it's not pulling quite as bad actually. Uh, you get a bit of a thinner application so you're not, you know, washing it out. It's not darkening it enough. I mean if you could do good can't speak these teeth but you could do it let it dry and if you're not happy go and do it again but I'd rather do it twice or three times either on a model you very bothered about do it once and overdo it uh, and then you're unhappy and you have to go back and redo the old bit and go all over again you know you'd have to go and repaint everything out to its colours you were using and then restart if, you, if it goes wrong because you can't take the wash off once it's dried. And you don't get the actual effect sometimes until it has dried, which is unfortunate but true. You just want to make sure you've got these little grooves and little bits that are sticking out of them. You don't have to be perfect, just get most of them. And I say it's because it's not a mixed up colour. You could always make a bit more if you'd miss one or two and come back and do those afterwards. So just make sure we don't get pulling and falling down from there. We do want it inside those but we don't want it to an extent that it's running down the old mole. And I think we've just about got them on. Just about. Yep, I think that's about it for all these little growths. So though when that dries, it will darken those out. Um, so they'll all blend together. You can see it more on probably on this tusk there. Hopefully you can see that it blends more together than we. Hopefully. I so say you can always go in with a little brush if you want to add a little 
you know, more detailed spikes. You know, you can do that. I may do that before I finish it, I don't know. I'll use a dark brown, just add a few sharp pointy spots inside these. I'm just on the large ones, don't worry about the little ones, that's it, it doesn't really matter as I've said. You'd be wasting your time anyway. But yeah, so that's all it is for the little angler. See the wash just blends in, turns it all down together. That's really all it does. And it gives you your shading as well. So yeah. That'll be it for the loincloth and you know the wash on the growth tusks. Uh, if you really want these around the back, these are my Swedish. <laughs> yeah. These are the Swedish figures I'll be doing part while well, the start of this commission. The Great Northern Wars. Um, but yeah, that's what we'll, we'll be doing those. We won't be doing those on here because they're for a commission and I need to get those done sharpish because he wants a lot of them. That's what they are. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and we'll be back when we get to the next part.